Hey Zalivas, this is Super Zomica Barbecue, and today we have had a brand new WWE 2K20 trailer drop at our feet, and we're gonna break it down. Not DX wise, although that would be pretty cool. We're talking about Roman Reigns, one of the cover stars for this year's game. There was an announcement when the game was revealed of Roman Reigns having his own 2K towers, and today we've seen the first look at the Roman Reigns Tower called Roman's Reign. Try and say Roman Reigns, Roman's Reign several times over and over again. It's definitely a tongue twister. Roman Reigns, Roman's Reign 2K Tower. Just wow, my head is spinning already. It's introduced brand new gameplay, confirmed a bunch of new superstars, among many other things, including a showcase like Tower which potentially shows a little bit of evolution going forward for the game and the towers mode in general. Before we start off, if you breathe oxygen, make sure you're hitting a like on the video to support the channel and to see more exclusive WWE 2K20 footage because we are coming up to release. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning your notifications on so you don't miss a single thing. First of all, we're gonna check out the brand new trailer which includes Roman Reigns talking about his biggest matches against the beast, Brock Lesnar. Let's check it out. Peggy 16. If I imagine my WWE career as a climb up a mountain, then Brock Lesnar is at the peak. When we met at WrestleMania 31, I thought I had him figured out and would take the WWE Championship. But Seth Rollins had other plans. Three years later, I got another chance at Brock at WrestleMania. And again, I thought I had him. But again, fate intervened and Lesnar walked away with the title. Same thing at the Greatest Royal Rumble in 2018. So when I got another chance at SummerSlam that year, I wasn't gonna come up short again. Defeating Brock Lesnar wasn't just about taking that championship. It was about proving to him and to myself that I could overcome him and stand at the top of the mountain. To sum it up, without Brock Lesnar, there's no Roman Reigns. As much as I dislike him, I'm thankful for him too. First of all, I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. I'm gonna mention a couple of things other than some of the reveals, which we'll get to in just a second, quality of the graphics in this trailer is far better than any of the gameplay we've seen so far. It came across in the previous reveals that the gameplay was a little bit underwhelming in terms of graphically. Other than the detail that was being shown, it did feel a bit like 2K19. Now in this trailer, we're getting somewhere close to what it looked like in the initial screenshots of the game, including the screenshot of Roman Reigns I have here. It seems development of the game has significantly stepped up and you can see a much higher res version of The Miz and Braun Strowman, which is the brand new footage included in this trailer. You may remember on the channel we have been keeping a tally of all of the revealed WWE 2K20 superstars and that is no different on here. In the last video we did a count. Now since then I haven't updated this so let's add five names from the Bump in the Night DLC which is Randy Orton, Nikki Cross, Alistair Black, Mandy Rose and the Demon Finn Balor. From this new teaser trailer we can see a Dolph Ziggler t-shirt in the crowd as well as a Baron Corbin t-shirt if you look closely there is one other little reveal or two other little reveals, but you can't make out which is which. So I'm just gonna leave those off. But more interestingly, more names have been revealed through the press release where it confirms each of the 16 matches that are going to be included in this 2K Towers. It also confirms that the interviews such as you just saw the live action introductions will feature the big dog himself, Roman Reigns, before each match, which is kind of like how Daniel Bryan's showcase worked last year. So think of it as like a mini showcase. The list of the matches include Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins versus Team Hell No versus Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, Big Show, Bray Wyatt, Sheamus, Triple H, AJ Styles, Rusev, Braun Strowman, The Undertaker, John Cena, The Miz, Samoa Joe, 
Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre. Which means we can add Team Hell No to the list, which will be Daniel Bryan and Kane. You'll probably say, but haven't you revealed these before? But these would be brand new superstars. I would imagine we'll just have a couple of old school Daniel Bryans because the models are the same. I'll just add them into the game. And the Team Hell No Kane will also make an appearance in the game. So we're looking at multiple different versions of Kane in 2K20 as well. Rusev, Samoa Joe and Drew McIntyre also included, which makes the total count for the superstars included in WWE 2K20 at 82. Then you can add the DLC of The Fiend, but we're not going to add that in. Technically, we could for pre-order bonuses, but I'm going to keep that as a separate list. Because of the different types of matches that are included in this, as well as the showcase mode with the four horsewomen in it, you could actually state that there might be multiple versions of Roman Reigns, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte to be included in this game. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It did specifically mention the shield. I would not be surprised to see a old school shield style Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Of course, we know that Dean Ambrose will not be included in that list. I doubt we'll see older versions of other superstars, but it's a possibility we could see maybe the Randy Orton and Daniel Bryans from 2K19 re-emerge in this game to fight Roman Reigns in this tower. So there we go, the latest reveal for WWE 2K20 is done. Remember, if you breathe oxygen to hit a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on because exclusive WWE 2K20 content is surely only weeks away. But I have been Super Summer God Barbecue. You have been awesome for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.